This video documents one way to prepare a coated concrete floor for a new thin mill system. The first step in this process is the removal of the old coating. PCD tools are used to remove the bulk. Approximately 75% of the old coating is removed. Following this is a two segment 2530 diamond tool. The process should remove 100% of the old coating. Besides coating removal, abrupt elevation inequalities will be smoothed as the grinder does its work. After the grinding, wand vacuuming is done to remove the bulk dust. Next is shot blasting. This process is done here to remove fine dust embedded in the concrete's pores. In addition to the pores being filled with the grinding dust, it also sticks to the profile of the diamond scratches. Shot blasting cleans it all. The primer coat is next. This is usually done with a primer made for direct to concrete placement. The product used here is a water-based epoxy. It's a two-component product that's clear or can be pigmented. It's applied by drywall taping blade to fill the slab's surface pores. It's not meant to fix or fill voids which would be better treated with a patching product. One purpose of the primer is to fill the pores and act as a mechanical system anchor. Another is to seal the slab surface so the next layer's thickness remains uniform. Once tack free, the primer can be covered using an epoxy or polyaspartic flake or solid color system. Though there is no one system which specifies precisely this preparation process, it's fair to say that clean and absorbent substrate will instigate and support a thin mill coating's attachment longevity. And that's about it. One way to prepare a coated concrete floor for a new thin mill system.